This is Jupiter Today for the 18th of March, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant two, heading west. And Europa is doing the same, quadrant two, heading west. Ganymede spends all day in Quadrant 3, heading west, and Callisto is with Ganymede in Quadrant 3, also heading west, both getting very, very close to their western elongation. At zero hours 24 minutes, Europa goes through an apogee, that's the furthest distance it's going to be from Jupiter in this orbit, 677,331.6 kilometers. And then at 0 hours 59 minutes UTC, Io goes through a perijove, that's the closest it's going to be in this orbit to Jupiter, and that's 420,041.2 kilometers. Notice that Io's perijove and Europa's apogee are on the same side. By 6 hours UTC, Io has begun its transit of Jupiter. And at 6.52 UTC, the shadow of EO ingresses. At 8.17 UTC, EO ends its transit. And at 9.09 UTC, the shadow of EO egresses. And by 12 hours UTC, EO is now firmly in quadrant three, heading west. And Europa is beginning its transit, which takes place at 12.17 UTC. And at 14.03 UTC, the shadow of Europa ingresses. At 15.10 UTC, the transit of Europa ends. And at 16.57 UTC, the shadow of Europa egresses. By 18 hours UTC, Io is past its western elongation and is now in quadrant 4, heading east. And Europa is past its transit and is now firmly in quadrant three, heading west. From 2124 to 2129, Europa occults EO. And that's about in this area right here. It's a 5.2 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.308 arc seconds and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.381 magnitudes. And it's a nice distance away from Jupiter, 86.8 arc seconds. Visibility of this event is Europe, Africa, and Eastern South America. At 2159 UTC, Io goes through an apogee, that's the furthest it's going to be in this orbit, and that's 423,551.6 kilometers. And then from 2247 to 2253, Europa eclipses Io. That's a nice long shadow. Europa is on the Earth side of Jupiter and Io is on the far side of Jupiter. It's a pretty long shadow. It's a 5.8 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.521 magnitudes and an impact parameter of 0.366 arc seconds. And again, it's a good distance away from Jupiter, 70.96 arc seconds. And Europa and EO are 33.52 arc seconds apart. So this is a good photographic or photometric event. It's visible in Europe, Africa, Northeastern South America, and maybe the extreme eastern part of North America. And then by zero hours UTC, EO is firmly in quadrant four, heading east. And Ganymede and Callisto are very near their western elongation and they're going to be moving into quadrant four and start to head east. The apogee and perijove of EO today, if you didn't notice, are exactly 21 hours apart. Orbital ribbons for today. These are the temporal and spatial connections between the four Galilean moons. So here's the connection between EO and Europa today and Eo and Ganymede, and Eo and Callisto, and then Europa and Ganymede, 
Europa and Callisto. And finally Ganymede and Callisto. It's a nice sheet. And I combine all of these and colorize them a little bit. Get rid of the lines of the orbits to get that for today. That's a pretty neat looking shape. 24 hours of Jupiter sky. We'll just sit back and watch, watch the action today. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian twice today, first at 527 and the second at 1522 UTC. There were no new images, no new radio data, there was a new paper published. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of nine hours, three minutes, 28.5 seconds, and a declination of positive 17 degrees, 49 minutes, 6.4 seconds. Angular separation from the Sun, as seen from Earth, is 136.253 degrees, and that's 1.064 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle today at zero hours UTC is 7.399 degrees and that's 0.147 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth continues to get larger and larger as the Earth orbits the Sun and apparently seems to be moving away from Jupiter. Today's distance at zero hours UTC is 685,000, kilometers and that's 1,645,066 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Earth of 68,544.42 kilometers per hour. And we seem to be accelerating away from Jupiter, but at an ever slower rate. Today it's 1,358.5 kilometers per hour faster than what it was yesterday. The distance between the Sun and Jupiter is 799,474,019 kilometers, and that's 44,620 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. That gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,859.17 kilometers per hour, and that's 3.16 kilometers per hour slower than what it was yesterday. Central Meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 185.31 degrees, CM2, 260.92 degrees, CM3, 179.89 degrees. Time of this recording is 2320 UTC on the 16th of March, on the 17th of March, 2015. So please subscribe, and thank you to all of those who are subscribing and listening. I'd like to see your images and hear your comments and questions and suggestions. I'm always trying to find ways to improve this podcast, and it is an evolving item. 
So you can send all of those to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.